Alright everybody, this is going to be the long-awaited review of the new Metro PCS, the Huawei, 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 Huawei Activa 4G phone from Metro PCS that was re recently released. Here it is right here, as you can see. Metro PCS logo, the camera, the earpiece. Here's the top of the phone. Power the phone on and off and lock it. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Micro USB uh, charging port. The side of the phone. The rocker switch. The bottom of the phone. The microphone. The side of the phone. Dedicated camera button. And the back, you'll see the 5 megapixel focus free camera. Uh, Huawei 4G instructions on how to turn the back off and DTS enabled phone. DTS means music will sound better on the phone. Well, here's the phone itself. As you can see, here's the unlock screen. It's a standard um, Android 2.3 gingerbread. As you can see, it does support live wallpapers. It has up to five home screens and down here are the capacitive touch screen buttons for a home the menu the back button and the search button it brings up Google search um, <coughs> Alright, so here are the five home screens, like I said. And let's take a look at the widgets it has pre-installed. Widgets, analog clock, calendar, Google search, uh, home screen tips, latitude music, uh, news, weather, picture frame, play store, power control, traffic, and YouTube. That's what it comes pre-installed. Um, let's take a look at the wallpapers. Live wallpapers. As you can see it supports live wallpapers. It has these already pre-installed in the phone. Pretty nice. Um, uh, a pretty nice uh, mix of live, wallpa live wallpapers um, available. As you can see, it's very um, responsive phone. It has an 800 megahertz Qualcomm uh, processor. It has 512 uh, megabytes of RAM. Uh, let's take a look at the internal storage. Available um, inside the phone is 118 megabytes. Um, I got it with 128 megabytes available of internal memory and the rest you're going to have to rely on the SD card. Um, I downloaded a couple of applications so that's why it's kind of limited on the memory right now. Alright, let's take a look at the menu. The menu as you can go up and down. It's the standard Android 2.3 gingerbread menu. Uh, here we got the the app store calendar uh, calculator called it and callback camcorder camera clock let's take a look at some of these the calculator standard calculator turn it like that and you get it in um, portrait I mean landscape mode and then back on portrait mode on um, the calendar. Uh, as you can see, it's a standard calendar. Swipe up and down for the um, the dates and the months. Um, let's take a look at the call to end tone. I don't know what that is. Call to end tone free enabled. Captain's log. I think this is um the uh, phone tone when somebody calls you and you want it to end then you just just play some random thing uh, call log it takes you to 
the 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 um phone's um directory as you can see here's the dialer um standard android here you, uh you push this for the voicemail the call delete the call log contacts contacts of people and favorites you can also click on the menu button it'll get you um search new contact multi select accounts and import export contacts um oh let's see what else it says um it shows here the clock let's take a look at the clock <clears throat> Uh, this is where you set an alarm add an alarm and you can add what time and what days your alarm will go off okay um, it has functionalities Oh, that's picture, I don't know, picture, um, music tone, and home, gets you back home, uh, let's see what else it has in here, contacts, I already told you, downloads, shows you what, down, what you have downloaded from the internet, Email. I don't really use email. I just usually use Gmail gallery. Let's take a look at the gallery for this phone. As you can see, it's just the standard gallery, the standard Android gallery. Um, Gmail, Google search, Kung Fu Panda 2 movies here. Latitude, maps, messaging. Let's take a look at messaging. Um, as you can see here, here's the message, text messages. You can go to um, landscape or you can go to portrait mode. And here's the keyboard. It gives you auto correct up there. Um, let's see what other keyboards it has. It has installed. It has Android keyboard, swipe, and some other keyboard. I don't know what it is, but. Here's the Android keyboard, standard gingerbread keyboard. You turn it in um, landscape mode, it goes like that. Okay. Okay, let's see what else over that. Uh, messaging, maps, metro, Wi Fi, metro web. Before we go before we go into the web browser, let's take a look at the music. As you can see, it's the standard Android 2.3 music player. Nothing fancy here. I don't have any songs currently installed in this. All right, uh, my Metro navigation, phone, places, Play Store. Let's look at that. The standard Android Play Store. <coughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's go back. Uh, settings. Oh, yeah, people want to know about the settings of the phone. Wireless, call settings, sound, display, location, applications, accounts, privacy, storage, language and keyboard accessibility, date and time, about phone. As you can see, it's it's running Android 2.3.6 currently there is no root available for the phone but when there is a root available I will be posting up a root tutorial alright let's go to Metro web take a look at the web browser it's running 4G right now it's not running Wi-Fi 
and this phone does support flash player but uh, Adobe flash player it does support it as you will see right now it's just an outdated version of it but it does support flash I am loading um, YouTube right now let's go to my channel so we could um, avoid copyright all right <clears throat> here's my channel my own YouTube channel so you can see how it loads flash content and stuff because it does support flash player <clears throat> And this is running on Metro's um, 4G network. I am not. I did not enable um, Wi-Fi. And as you can see here, it says um, um, loading or something like that. Uh, but yeah, supports Flash. Uh, let's go. Um, Let's check out the YouTube app because people want to know about YouTube too. And again, let's go to my channel. All running with Metro's, um, Metro PCS is 4G network. This is the unboxing I did on the LG Connect 4G. As you can see, this is how YouTube looks like. All right, everybody. This is the unboxing. Here we have the related videos and the comments. You can turn it. Um, the phone sideways for um, landscape view, forward for portrait mode, and the battery life on this phone, like I said, is really good. As you can see, um, I took it out of the charger at 5 a.m. and it's 4 and 4:30 right now, and it's a little bit under halfway, um, a little bit under halfway uh, full. Um, like I said, this has the 1880 battery, which is the extended battery already installed, so you don't need to buy it. And yeah, you have any more questions about oh the camera? Let's take a look at the camera. That's one thing that it's very important to look at. Um, it gives you two um, camera or camcorder. Let's take a look at the camera. The options for the camera. Here it says the exposure. Change the exposure. I currently have it facing me. As you can see, that's me right here taking the video of the phone. Um, for the front facing camera options, we have store location off on white balance. Change your white balance, um, zoom in, and you can switch from the front or back camera. The front camera supports video and pictures. It's a VGA camera, so it's um, 480, 480, the quality. Um, here we have more options, um, white balance. Um, high quality let's take it to the back of the camera and it switches and basically the same options are available it's a, a 5 megapixel focus free camera it's not an autofocus camera and it's not a fixed focus camera they claim it to be an HD focus free camera all right um, well that's all about this phone 
it's a very simple phone I bought it for $168 I had a $50 instant rebate and the mail-in rebate that was also 50 bucks they also gave it to me instantly so I didn't have to wait for it so yeah two instant rebates um, $100 off that's how much I paid it's a very simple phone it's 4G and it's very clean actually it's a very clean phone it's pretty fast I posted up um, benchmarks and internet speed test about it yeah I hope you guys check it out so yeah this is the review on the new Metro PCS Huawei 4G Activa Activa and if you have any more questions about this phone please comment ask rate and subscribe remember I'm gonna be rooting this phone when it's going to be rootable and post another tutorial on that so yeah hope you enjoyed this video